microphone. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll call before we get there. But uh, that's exactly what she did when she went to visit Boris the pig. On daytime, we encourage our audience members to send us pictures that we can show on the air. That's Boris! Look at this. So when I asked viewers to show off their unusual pets, we received photos of Boris, the Vietnamese pot-bellied pig. I think we're going to have to bring Boris on the show. Yep. Apparently, it's not all that easy to transport a pig, so if Boris can't come to us, I'll go to Boris. Right behind this door. Let's go meet him. And, of course, his owners. Hello. Hi. Janet? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet Cindy. you. Too. Come on in. Hello. This is my husband, Hi, James. James. And this is Boris. And this is the pig of the hour. Hi, Boris. Hey, hi, Winky. Hi, Winky. Is Boris shy? Mm, I'm thinking maybe not the way he's looking at the camera there. <laughs> he's such a ham. <laughs> Boris shares the house with two cats and two dogs. Ironically, the bulldog is actually named Pig. Janet and James Lisk love all their pets, but it's obvious who rules the roost. Boris is a mama's boy. And I spoiled him rotten while I, I was home with him for a while. And uh, Jamie couldn't even get near him. Anytime Jamie would go near him, he'd cry and he'd want mom. Um, he follows me all around the house. And he, he just, wherever I go, Boris wants to go, including on my lap. It's a lap pig. <laughs> Janet fell in love with Boris when she saw him in a petting zoo at a Renaissance fair. She and James bought Boris on the spot. He was quite a bit smaller when they brought him home. In six months, he's put on about 70 pounds. That was the night that we got him. Well, look, he's making himself at home. <laughs> Boris is happiest when he's chowing down. They like to eat, but you have to keep them on a very strict diet. If you don't, then you end up with an obese pig who will end up later in life with um, arthritis problems and things like that. So he gets his two cups of food a day, uh, uh, pot belly pig food, and then we supplement with fruits and uh, vegetables. <laughs> Like dogs, pigs are intelligent and trainable. Boris is a quick study. Come on, sit. Uh, uh, good boy. Janet has even posted video of Boris on YouTube showing off his skills. This is Boris's busy ball. This is what he really loves to play with, right? Yes. Why this ball? Because it has food in it. And as he knocks it around, the pellets fall out and he eats it. Boris is slowly being trained to walk with a harness and a leash, but he prefers to roam free. He spends his days outside in his personalized pen. When we go to work in the morning, we let him out here and he stays out here all day. And he's got his little house and he's got a pool. And he's bailed the hay and he just roots and digs and basically destroys everything. Life is good. Lucky for Janet, pigs always go to the bathroom in the same place. So Boris is easier to clean up after than the dogs. At night, Boris likes to sleep in his crate, which he's starting to get too big for. Boris knows when it's time to go to bed. Mm -hmm. If he's outside and it's about 8 o'clock, you'll hear him start crying. And he comes in, he runs into his crate, we give him a carrot, and he lays down and goes to bed. Now, when you say he starts crying, what do you mean? You want me to imitate the pig? Well, no, but I mean, does it sound like a dog when it cries? <laughs> no, he actually does. He cries. It's a high-pitched kind of squealing, and pigs cry tears, too. So if you don't get him in time, he will get, he will cry tears. It's got to be heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. He doesn't like the thunder and lightning, either. Really? Yes, he cries, so you have to hurry up and bring him in. Oh, and give him a hug. And give him a hug. Janet doesn't know how big Boris will actually get, but they are thinking of giving him his own bedroom soon. Colin, can I have one? shed, they don't smell bad, and they're really affectionate. Freebie may have some competition. <laughs> yes, I bonded with Boris. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Janet, very much for getting in touch with us. And of course, we invite all of you to please email us. Go to daytimeonline.tv. And if you have an interesting pet, or as Dave said, an interesting child, or